Hello folks, welcome back to my channel. So, um, still got a little bit of snow here. I ended up getting six inches of snow earlier this week. But we are down probably a good 12 or 13 inches in snow depth. Right here, I'm gonna say I'm probably at a foot and a half deep of snow I'm sanding on. I just dug a couple of holes. One of them I was able to get down in the ground there about 32 inches anyway what i've got that i'm going to work on for the next episode episode 34 is i have a solar sun tracking system that i'm going to put in and test out and it's only be temporary temporary install here but it's going to run a uh, 400 watt panel system i'm going to put on it for my ecoflow solar generator I have. It's a 2000 watt generator. And then I've also got 200 watts of panels coming with a controller that I can hook up on here as well, because it'll hold 500 watts of panels. So 200 watts with a controller are gonna run to the batteries on my travel trailer and keep that charged. See if I can use the solar generator and the batteries on the trailer for most of my power usage and not have to dip into the gas generator at all. So this is called EcoWorthy. The system's uh, a dual axis solar tracker system. So that's kind of what it looks like. And then once you put your panels on, it'll kind of look like that. So nice little system. Uh, price wasn't too bad on it. We'll uh, discuss more next week. Um, but it's really well built. I was really impressed with it. I just unboxed it a little bit ago. It was boxed really well. They double boxed everything. They also wrapped them in plastic. I picked it up off of Amazon. And uh, so it's got a couple actuators in these white boxes. The actuators look like this if you can see them there. So that's what's going to move it towards the sun it's got a controller to control all of its movements and uh controllers right here boxed up comes with that too so it comes with all of that stuff it's all made out of steel a lot of mounting hardware for it um your brackets nice heavy steel brackets so that's really nice i really like that comes with a little wind gauge. The uh, post it comes with is designed with a base. It's got gussets welded to it. It's really nicely welded up and nice heavy duty base. So I've still got to go to the store and pick up some lag bolts. I'm going to dig these holes. The one hole that I'm going to use, I'm going to dig it bigger in diameter. I'm probably gonna have to put about a 12 or a 14 inch stump down in the ground because it's only gonna be temporary. So I'm gonna drop the stump down in the ground to where I can lag bolt this to it. And uh, like I said, all of this will be in episode 34. I will do this whole install on it. I'll give it a month or two of uh, trying it out. And then I'll come back and review it and give you an idea what it did for me and how I liked it. So I'll give you a little closer look here. Give you an idea. You can see what the snow looks like here in the holes. So right down there, you can probably tell. I got probably a good, I'm gonna say 16 or 18 inches of snow still that I dug through, but it was kind of nice. The, the ground, it wasn't frozen. So yeah, nice heavy steel bracketry here and stuff. It's got a lot of, lot of hardware here to deal with. And there's more bracket mounting here. That's the stuff in here is for the solar panels to mount to it. Um, so there's your, all, your Z brackets or whatever you want to call them. I don't know what they call them. I'm not going to re run regular panels on this system right now until I hook it up. This system's probably going to go over to the 
shop later. And when it gets over to the shop, then I'll buy some probably 100 watt panels for it and run 500 watts over there as well. So for now, it's gonna be for the travel trailer. Uh, this winter, I'm gonna move it on over here towards the shed. That's gonna be a, let's call it a tiny cabin for the winter. Cause I'm gonna put a wood stove in there and a loft like I've talked about in previous episodes. That's kind of my game plan for that right now. So we'll go ahead and get this done for episode 34, episode 35. I hope to be starting on my solar system down below where the, that, that one's gonna run the, the water pump for the cistern on my spring that I have to develop. So I'm gonna kind of bounce from that back over to the shed, work on the shed. Then I might bounce back and get that cistern built and completely done. And then probably a little later, I'll start on the shop, the uh, Quonset hut. I'll get that built and we'll get back over here uh, while I'm building and prepping for that. I'll probably bounce back over and start clearing the area for the uh, cabin build and start getting the, the area cleared out and leveled out Hopefully I can do everything with a tractor if I can't. I may have to look for somebody that can come in with a, a cat and maybe doze the area down further so I can get a nice, good flat area to work with. With the tractor, any kind of slope is really bad when you're lifting heavy logs. And I don't, where I'm building, I don't have a lot of trees, so I can't run a cable and a pulley system I have the stuff I had bought prior to buying the property and didn't realize I was going to be building out with a view I thought I'd be building in the forest deep in the woods but I got these beautiful mountains over here that I want to be able to look out of the windows or sit on the deck and look at so I also have really good sun value here I got a good solar collection area here so i want to use it for all that too anyways i'm sorry this was kind of a short video it's a lot of snow here still so it makes it hard for me to do any projects but i just got this yesterday and i'm still waiting for the 200 watt solar panel system so as soon as that gets here that'll be here probably tomorrow or next week early sometime for the next episode i'll be able to complete this build get this done and then we'll move forward on to something else and uh start getting some some projects going i'm uh i'm done with the winter <laughs> i want it to be over with i want to be able to get back to doing things here so sitting around is not my thing so thank you for watching i hope you'll stick around i hope you'll give me a thumbs up and like it and if you're new to the channel i hope you'll follow me thank you have a great week.